Alright guys, how's it going? I'm going to be completely honest here. I was looking at last night's YouTube analytics and it seems to be between 1 o'clock in the morning to maybe 3 o'clock. It really does half in views. Now I think part of the reason for that is I've essentially trained YouTube to start publishing at that time and I've actually created a bad habit but I need to check something out. So I suppose I should make something productive as well. So today I'm going to show you how to texture paint or low poly texture painting. Now I actually recommend you check out Louis DeMont's video. He's superb, it gives an excellent breakdown and it won't be as quick as what I'm going to show to be honest. So we'll just use the default cube like normal and of course this comes already UV mapped. So when I enable texture painting you'll see that it's indicated as purple which essentially means there's no texture image. So when I go to paint you'll see that it actually says missing textures detected. Now this is very easy to overcome. If I jump into the shading tab, I have the material set up. I'm going to press Ctrl and A and then I'll press S to search and I'll search for an image texture. The next thing I'll do is I'll just connect the colours to the base colour. I'll then create a new texture. So I'll go to new, let's call it my texture. Now if you're doing low poly painting, you're better having a small resolution. So I could type in a very low resolution, but what I'm actually going to do is go divide by 4. That'll give me 256 and I'll divide this by 4 as well. Now when you actually generate a texture, you can do a colour grid, a UV grid, I'll just make it blank. You can also set the colour, but I'll just leave everything on default and I'll hit OK. Now one thing about doing low poly texture, rather than having the interpolation set as linear, you're better changing this to closest and that gives you this nice low poly kind of look and that's us pretty much ready for texture painting. So I'm going to quickly use the fill tool and I'm just going to fill this in with a colour. My colour palette is different but if you go to edit preferences and if you actually go to the interface you can see the colour picker type and you can easily change this back to like the circle. One thing regarding painting low poly pixel stuff is you really need to change the fall off for the brush. So I'll select the brush I'll come to fall off and I'll actually change the interpolation mode and I'll change this to a constant so everything gets pushed up right up the top. I can press F to scale the brush. Let's select a different colour so let's go for green and I can start painting on. Now if you don't like that you can always just paint on the mesh and sometimes that's a bit easier. Now you can see here I've got this kind of green overlapping. What I can do is I can press S to sample the colour and then I can quickly paint in. And obviously you would go down in brush sizes you would probably pick a colour close in the range. So let's make it darker and you would start kind of doing stuff like this. Now I'm using the mouse so I do apologise. Now that's pretty much the basics for painting low poly objects and it gives it this nice pixel feel. Do me a favour guys, check out Lewis's video, it's excellent to be honest. Like the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do. Take care.